Former U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his deputy, Rod J. Rosenstein, were a driving force behind the administration's child separation policy. Deputy AG Rod Rosenstein pressed U.S. attorneys to prosecute parents crossing the border with their children, including parents legally seeking asylum, telling them that it didn't matter how old their kids were. The following are actual quotes from children who have been detained. I am in a room with dozens of other boys. Right now, there is a 12-year-old who cries a lot. Others try to comfort him. One of the officers makes fun of the boys who cry. I have not showered while here. I don't brush my teeth because I do not have a toothbrush. When I go to the bathroom, I try to wash, but there is no soap. We eat, sleep, and live in room 198. There are about 50 kids in 8 to 10 beds. It was cold at night. When they sleep, I have shoes, but not socks. I'm so hungry that I've woken up in the middle of the night with hunger. When they opened the door, the first thing that we, that we, that hit us was a smell, and it was a smell of sweat, urine, and feces. Where I was, uh, the smell was really bad because the bathroom was there in the middle and there wasn't a, a wall. Some kids are only two or three years old and have no one to take care of them. This administration did not create a policy of separating families at the border. Former U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions was quoted as saying, we need to take away children. This zero tolerance policy ultimately separated more than 5,000 children, including babies and toddlers, from their parents at the border. The horrors of family separation and the lasting harms of these policies on children shall remain in the minds of every American. Share this video if you agree it's time to protect children and put an end to inhumane immigration policies.